In this unit, we're going to look at how consumers go through buying things online. What is known as a online consumer journey. If we think typically, traditionally, when consumers purchase products or services offline, they first of all recognize that they have a problem and they want to solve that problem. They seek information from various different sources, from family, from friends, from perhaps the media to understand about that product or service that they want to actually buy to solve that problem. They then look at alternatives that they could possibly purchase. Fourthly, they go out and purchase something. And fifthly, they carry out a post-purchase evaluation of the product and service. As you can see, this is a very stepwise process, hierarchical. In a digital environment, it is said that the process is actually cyclical. According to Google, there is a zero moment of truth. In this zero moment of truth, in the initial stage, where consumers are trying to seek out information from Google or from other digital mediums or for family and friends, and then they look at different alternatives. Sometimes it is said, let's just find information just simply Googling it. Once that information is found, the customer may look at alternatives of the products and then, and then purchase it. But in that post-purchase and purchase relationship, there is a relationship of loyalty. And this arrives at what we know as a second moment of truth. In this second moment of truth, if a consumer in a digital environment likes what they have bought or dislikes what they have bought, they then try to go and put information about that experience on the internet or through social media. Perhaps because they are interested in making sure that what they have experienced can also be experienced by their other consumers or they're trying to warn off other consumers through negative experience that they may have. So the customer's journey in, in terms of trying to locate our business and locate our services is, it comes in two different forms. So first of all, we have our client base who is searching for our agency and searching for our company online. We produce content and copy that's relevant to keywords that they will be searching for in search uh, optimization um, related areas and we're also live and active within uh, content areas of, um, of, of forums etc where, where clients may be looking to use uh, recruitment agencies to be able to recruit for um, their particular business. In terms of um, in terms of candidates and the other side of the coin, then we make sure that we are offering advice, offering jobs and offering information for candidates that's live across our digital channels and platforms. Actually, this is uh, one of the main benefits of digital media, all this, the, the funnel uh, where you can see everything. Uh, I remember a case uh, with uh, analytic software tools, you can track uh, every uh, path of your uh, customers in your online shop uh, and we remember we have uh, a conversion after 20 days um, and we can see that uh, this specific uh, consumer came from uh, one advertising on social media after that she remembered the, the do domain the URL so she came direct, after that she came with remarketing and actually she made the purchase after 20 days. So when we asked them uh, in the after sale uh, service department, uh, she said, I think I saw you on TV, but we don't have a TV spot. So um, the, it's really, really important for you to uh, measure everything and know which channel is working for you. Uh, but again, the consumer doesn't remember if I uh, show you on TV, on radio, offline or online, it's only your brand name.